I assume you must have played Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and also, you may remember this character from the game as well. But you may not know that this character meets a horrible end after the events of Vice City. In this video, I am going to discuss about one of the most important side characters of GTA Vice City, aka Avery Carrington. Avery Carrington appears in the mission The Party, where Mercedes aka Colonel Juan Cortez's daughter is listing out the most prominent guests to Tommy Vercetti, who have attended her Over father's there, party on the yacht. The you will see Avery conversing with BJ Smith Always along with Donald child. Love. At this point Tommy doesn't meet him here. Ken Rosenberg introduces Tommy to Avery Carrington, where Avery wants Tommy to cause a riot on shipping business company, which refuses to sell their land to him. In return, Avery will provide protection to Tommy. Later on, Tommy visits Avery himself and helps him out in three of his missions, in exchange of money of course. From all of Avery's missions, it is clear that Avery is property lover and a businessman. You can say he is all about real estate and construction of property. Avery also owns Shady Acres Company and you can hear its advertisement in some Vice City's radio station, where he himself is speaking about it. Avery is last seen in Vice City in the cutscene of the mission Shakedown, in which Tommy goes to the businesses in North Point Mall and destroys them in order to force the business owners to pay him protection money. After the end of GTA Vice City, Avery is not seen, but some of his references can be seen in GTA San Andreas where he must have continued to expand his business in Blueberry. Also, there is a large neon-lit billboard of Avery Carrington in Las Venturas on a casino building, the lights of which turn on during night. Those are all of the references of Avery Carrington in GTA San Andreas. Now we come to GTA Liberty City Stories, which is set in the year of 1998. By the way, GTA Vice City was set in 1986 and GTA San Andreas was set in 1992. So in GTA Liberty City Stories, which happens 12 years after GTA Vice City, we get to see Avery Carrington again. However, we only get to see him for a very brief moment. This is the year in which Avery meets his horrible end, as I said before, we get to see Avery for a very brief moment, only to see him get murdered. Avery Carrington appears in Tell Liberty City in one of Donald Avery Love's mission named Panlantic Land Grab. This is the mission where Donald Love hires Tony Cipriani to kill Avery Carrington. Who would have thought that Avery's own protege would be the one behind his murder? The reason why Donald Love wanted to kill Avery Carrington is because he had recently gone bankrupt. So, in order to quickly escape from his bankruptcy, Donald Love decides to kill his ex-mentor, Avery Carrington and hires Tony Cipriani to do the job. I am not going to discuss about how Donald Love got bankrupt and his other details in this video. Maybe I will, in some other video. Anyways, Donald's main motive was to acquire the redevelopment plans of Avery Carrington for Fort Staunton. Avery arrives in Liberty City at Francis International Airport. He comes to Liberty City expand his business in Liberty City as well. Actually, he comes with redevelopment plans of Fort Staunton, which is a mafia-controlled district, which he wants to discuss with the Colombian cartel. In short, you can say Avery Carrington is working with Colombian cartel in Liberty City. Meanwhile, Donald Love here has already planned Avery's murder, which Tony Cipriani carries out under Donald's command and kills Avery shortly just after his arrival in Liberty City. But the most horrifying part is that, in another mission of Donald Love named Morgue Party Resurrection, Donald requests Tony to retrieve the dead body of Avery Carrington. And why does Donald Love wants Tony to bring him Avery's dead body? Simple, Donald Love wants to dine on his ex-mentor, more simply, he wants to eat Avery Carrington. Here is what he says while eating Avery. Avery! Oh, Avery, how you've aged since we've last met. You used to feed me such pearls of wisdom, and soon I shall dine again. My God, he's wearing a wig! That's right, Donald Love is a cannibal. You'll see Antonio. Donald Love okay, consuming Tony, human go. flesh in you one of his missions Italian named Campaign. He finds Spanish, human flesh taste just like chicken, Absolutely. except it's more sentient. He flies out from Liberty sentence. City while dining on oh Avery God, Carrington. Donald is again seen in Liberty City in the year 2001, that is, when GTA 3 was set. He gave various missions to Claude Speed. And, in his last mission in GTA 3, Donald Love mysteriously vanishes. 
now there could be lot of theories behind his disappearance, one theory I would like to believe, is that Tommy Versetti got to know about Avery's murder, and since Tommy was good friends with Avery, he must have hired someone to kill Donald Love, but it's only a theory. Well that's the story of Avery Carrington, and how he met his horrible end by his own protege. What do you think of Donald Love? What could have happened to Donald Love? Leave your comments below. Also, please subscribe our channel to help us make more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.